We're committed to tackling the climate and nature emergencies and helping people and nature thrive together. Throughout the growing season, we cut grass and vegetation on the land in our care and assets we manage. By cutting grass short, we can inspect and repair flood defences, helping to reduce flood risk to our communities. We also cut grass to manage access to our sites and to make sure people are safe, for example, when they visit our forests and nature reserves. During May, however, mowing activities will be reduced as much as possible. This is to promote biodiversity, allow spring plants to set seed and help support pollinators such as bees and butterflies. Every third mouthful of food we eat has been created by pollination and without pollinators our food supply would collapse. By making our sites as pollinator friendly as possible, we also provide food and shelter for other species and help to connect and improve the resilience of our green spaces. There are some instances where it's not possible for us to stop all mowing activities in May and you might spot our teams or contractors carrying out essential grass cutting work during the month. We might also choose to cut in May for conservation reasons, for example to manage an invasive species or because at some sites we want to leave wildflowers to recover and bloom throughout the late summer. You could also see grass cutting being carried out at some locations during May by your local council, where mowing is essential to help maintain visibility for road users or keep traffic signage and sight lines clear. By working together, there are many things we can do to make it easier for pollinators to thrive, from managing grass verges in a more sensitive way to leaving wild areas around our offices, homes and public buildings.